Yiperek Hatanai Vishmareka Hayadana Puna Aleka Vihuneka Yesadona Puna Aleka Vihim Leka Shalom Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Zavolt is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Unending is your love for your people, the house of Israel. Torah and Mizvot, laws and precepts have you taught us. Adonai Elohunu, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and rejoice in your Torah and Mitzvot forever. For they are our life and the length of our days. Day and night we will reflect on them. Do not let your love ever depart from us. Blessed are you, Adonai, who loves his people Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Luchuno, Adonai Chad. And you are to love Adonai your God with all your heart and all your being and all your resources. These words which I am ordering you today are to be on your heart and you are to teach them carefully to your children. You are to talk about them when you sit at home, when you are traveling on the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them on your head, hand as a sign, put them at the front of a headband around your forehead and write them on the door frames of your houses and on the gate on your gates. So if you listen carefully to my misvote, which I am giving you today, to love that night your God and serve him with all your heart and all your being. Then says that night I will give your land its rain at the right seasons including the early fall rains and the late spring rains, so that you can gather in your wheat, new wine, and olive oil. And I will give your fields grass for your livestock, with the result that you will eat and be satisfied. But be careful not to let yourselves be seduced so that you turn aside, serving other gods and worshiping them. If you do, the, an the anger of Adonai will blaze up against you. He will shut the, up the skies so that there will be no rain. The ground will not yield its produce, and you will quickly pass away from the good land Adonai has given you. Therefore, you are to store up these words of mine in your heart and in all your being. Tie them on your hand as a sign. Put them at the front of a headband around your forehead. Teach them carefully to your children. Talking about them when you sit at home, when you are traveling on the road, when you lie down and when you get up, and write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates so that you and your children will live long on the land. I don't know, I swore to your ancestors that he would give them for as long as there is sky above the earth. Adonai said to Moshe, speak to the people of Israel, instructing them to make through all their generations zilk on the corners of the garments and to put with the zizit on each corner a blue thread. It is to be a zizit for you to look at and thereby remember all of Adonai's misvolt and obey them so that you won't go around wherever your own heart and eyes lead you 
to prostitute yourselves, but it will help you remember and obey all my misvolt and be holy for your Adonai. I am Adonai your God, you who brought you out of the land of Egypt in order to be your God. I am Adonai your God. It is true, and we believe it, that you are our Redeemer. I am awed with when I recall the miracles and the help you gave me. You kept my spirit alive. You kept me from stumbling. In the past, you helped our people. We all accepted you as our leader and vowed to follow your lead. With Moshe, Miriam, and all Israel, we sing to you, Who is like you, Adonai, among the mighty? Who is like you, sublime in holiness, awesome in praises, working wonders? And we continue to celebrate you as Redeemer Yisrael, you Hashem who saved our ancestors. May you soon bring redemption to us also. Blessed are you, Adonai, Redeemer Yisrael. Lay us down, Adonai, in peace and raise us up again, our King, to new life. Spread over us your tabernacle of peace and guide us with your good counsel. Save us for your name's sake. Shield us from every enemy, plague, sword, famine, and sorrow. Remove the adversary from before and behind us. Shelter us in the shadow of your wings. Guard our going out and our coming in. And grant us life and peace now and always. Blessed are you, Lord of God, who guards his people Israel. May the memory of the six million souls be a blessing. <coughs> Adonai, open my lips so my mouth may declare your glory. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, great and mighty and awesome God, supreme God, who bestows loving kindness by creating everything in the universe. You remember the kindness of our ancestors and lovingly bring redemption to their descendants for the sake of your name. You are our king, helper, deliverer, and shield. Blessed are you, Adonai, shield of Abraham. You are eternally mighty, Adonai reviving the dead, abundantly able to redeem us, who causes the wind to blow and the rain to fall. With kindness do you sustain the living, and with great compassion do you revive the dead. You support the fallen, heal the sick, free the captives, and keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, source of mighty deeds? Who is like you, O King, whom who causes death and restores life, and causes deliverance to spring forth. In faithfulness do you revive the dead. Blessed are you, Adonai, who revives the dead. You are holy, and your name is holy, and your holy ones praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the God who is holy. You show favor to man of knowledge, and you teach understanding to a mortal man. Be gracious to us, a mind of understanding and intellect is from you. Blessed are you, Adonai, who favors us with knowledge. Return us, O Father, to your Torah. Draw us near, O King, to serve you. Restore us to your presence in complete repentance. Blessed are you, O Lord, who desires repentance. Forgive us, our Father, for we sinned, pardon us, our King, for we have rebelled. For you are a partner and a forgiver. Blessed are you, Lord, the gracious one who abundantly forgives. Behold our affliction and companion our cause, champion our cause, and redeem us speedily for the sake of your name. Blessed are you, Lord, Redeemer Israel. Heal us, O Lord and we shall be healed. Save us, and we shall be saved. So, one we praise is you. Bring complete healing for all our sickness. For, O oh God, for you 
are our faithful and compassionate healer and king. Blessed are you, Lord, the healer of the sick, of Israel. Bless for us, Adonai, our God, this year and its crops. Grant us a blessing for on the earth. Satisfy us from thy bounty and bless our year like other good years. Bless for you, O Lord, who blesses the years. Sound the great shofar for our freedom and raise a banner to gather our exiles and unite us together from the four corners of the earth. Blessed are you, Lord, who regathers the scattered of his people, Israel. Restore our judges as at the yearly times and advisors as there once were. Remove our sorrows and troubles. We want you, Adonai, to rule over us with kindness and compassion and to justify us in justice. Blessed are you, Lord, the King who loves righteousness and justice. Upon the righteous, upon the pious, upon the elders of your people of the house of Israel, upon the remnant of their scholars, upon the righteous converts, and upon ourselves, may your compassion arise, O Lord our God, and give good reward to all who sincerely believe in your name. Include us with them forever, and let us not be ashamed, for we put our trust in you. Blessed are you, Lord, the stronghold and assurance of the righteous. Return in compassion to your city, Yerushalayim, and rest within us, rest within it as you have said. Rebuild it speedily, and in our days a structure forever. And may you establish the throne of David within Yerushalayim speedily. Blessed are you, Lord, the builder of Yerushalayim. May the seed of David, thy servant, flourish speedily, and may you exalt in your salvation. For in your salvation do we hope all the day. Blessed are you, Lord, who brings forth the horn of our salvation. Hear our voice, O Lord our God, and have pity and mercy upon us, and accept in mercy and in favor our prayer. For you are a God who hears prayers and supplications. Do not turn us away from before you empty, for in mercy you hear the prayer of your people, Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, who hears prayer. Accept your people, O Lord our God, and receive their, their prayer. Restore the most holy service of your house and accept and love the offerings and prayers of Israel. May it please you always to want to accept the service of your people Israel. May our eyes see you return to Zion in mercy. Blessed are you, O Lord, who restores his presence to Zion. We thank you, for it is you alone who is Adonai, our God, and the God of our fathers forever and ever. You are the rock and shield of our salvation, you alone, from generation to generation. We thank you and tell, you, tell of your praises, for our lives are in your hands and our souls are trusting in you. Every day your miracles are with us. Your wonders and favors are at all times evening, morning, and afternoon. O oh, good one, your compassions are never exhausted and your kindness are continual. We put our hope in you. We acknowledge to you, O oh Lord, that you are our God as you were the God of our ancestors forever and ever, rock of our life, shield of our help. You are immutable from age to age we thank you and utter your praise for our lives that are delivered into your hands and for our souls that are entrusted to you and for your miracles that are with us every day and for our marvelously and for your marvelously kind deeds that are of every time evening and morning and noontide thou art good for thy mercies are endless. Thou art merciful, for thy kindnesses never are complete. 
from everlasting we have hoped in you and for all these things may thy name be blessed and exalted always and forevermore and all the living will give thanks unto thee and praise thy great name in, tr in truth god our salvation and help blessed be thou o lord thy name is good and to thee it is meet to give thanks grant peace goodness blessing grace kindness and compassion upon us and upon all your people israel bless us our father all of us as one with the light of your face for with the light of your face you gave to us adonai our god the torah of life and love of kindness righteousness blessing compassion life and peace and may it be good to your eyes to bless your people, Israel, at every time and every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people, Israel, with peace. Exalted and hallowed be his great name throughout the world, which he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingship, bring forth his redemption, and hasten the coming of his Messiah. In your lifetime, in your days, and in the lifetime of the entire house of Israel, speedily and soon, and say amen. May his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Blessed and praised, glorified, exalted, and extolled, honored, adored, and loud be the name of the Holy One. Blessed be he. Beyond all the blessings, hymns, praises, and consolations that are uttered in the world, and say amen. May the prayers and supplications of all Israel be accepted by their Father who is in heaven, and say Amen. May there be an abundant peace from heaven and a good life for us and for all Israel, and say Amen. He who makes peace in his heavens, may he make peace with us and for all Israel, and say Amen. It is our duty to praise the master of all, to ascribe the greatness to the author of creation, who has not made us like the nations of the lands, nor placed us like the families of the earth, who has not made our portion like theirs, nor our destiny like all their multitudes. For they worship vanity and emptiness, and pray to a God who cannot save. But we bow and worship and give thanks unto the supreme king of kings the holy one blessed be he who extends the heavens and establishes the earth whose throne of glory is in the heavens above and whose powers present in the highest of heights he is our god there is no other truly he is our king there is no one else as it is written in his Torah, you shall know and take to heart this day that the Lord is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is no other.